Anyways, this is the book I wrote. It's called Brave Face. And if you see a little child, that's not me, but this is the size that I was. I was um, four years old when I witnessed Germany invading Poland, five years old when uh, Germany invaded the Netherlands, and we fought for six days, and that was all. And then I was 10 years old when the war ended. Um, I'd like to read you a small piece. Um, my best friend has always been my sister, who's two years older than I am, and her name is Sieglinde, out of the opera. On April 11, 1944, Mama peered out of the window. It looks quiet outside today. Why don't you guys go and play at the playground for a while? I've been cooped up in here for too long. But I remember, and you remember that the airplanes will come, and if they come and they swoop low, the Allies are getting ready to drop bombs. Go and lie down in a ditch until the bombing stops. Sigrinda and I nodded our understanding. Yes, Mama, we chorused and grinned at each other. After racing down the stairs and out the door, we went down our street to the playground. It was empty. My favorite piece of equipment was the seesaw. So I suggested that we start there. As always, Sigrinde agreed. I took one end and my sister pumped herself on the other. No sooner had we commenced going up and down than we heard the deafening rumble of airplane engines. We peered up into the cloudy and now drizzly sky and saw a squadron of six airplanes flying in our direction, straight towards us, bombers. One airplane swooped down right near to the playground. It looked for all the world as if it were aiming for us. Remembering Mama's instructions, I jumped off the seesaw. In my panic, I didn't even notice that Sirene was at the top and I just dropped her. Sirene dropped her bottom and scolded. You could have warned me. Just then another airplane swooped in our direction. My sister's eyes grew round. Let's get out of here. She didn't even wait for me, but darted left towards the exit of the playground. I gazed in fear at the airplanes, each of which was making a pass right near to the playground. What were they doing? I knew I was very fast, but there was no way even I could outrun an airplane or a bomb. Nearby on my right was a creek. That would do. I sprinted over to it and flattened myself onto the embankment. As I lay there, I heard the screech of the planes continuing to dive, one after another, each plunge followed by an explosion as they dropped their bomb. Every bomber made several passes. The hair on the back of my neck stood on end. I'd seen up close what bombs do. Tucking my head into my chest, I screwed my eyes tightly closed, put my arms over my head as I'd been taught, held my breath, and prayed that it'd be soon over. If you want to know how the story ends, you gotta go and buy the book. <laughs>